This map here, GTA LC3, was not requested by the creator this time. Uh, this is the first map I've gotten from an outside source, but it has been requested. Hey, GTA LC3, you wanna run me down? Oh, I already see a good advantage to take on. Uh, and that advantage is you'll see in the modifiers. Gameplay modifiers, no health regen, targets visible, reckless driver. Claude Speed and Tony Ciprione. Yeah, that sounds about right. I feel like just taking the brass knucks because they... Uh, you know, no, I'm taking the brass knucks. I am Tony. I am Tony with an immortal car driving around in GTA 3's L Liberty City. Liberty City. It's a city. This looks very much like it, too. Very similar. Very close. Oh, there's a bounty target. So. Reckless driver's on. And that's the, the game. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take full bitch. Oh! That's smart ass. That's smart ass. Okay, never mind. I guess he's not smart after all. I will run you down my car. You gotta be safe. You gotta be safe to go that way. You don't know who Tony Ciprioni is. I will run you over in my car. Does this feel good? Does that feel good? No, yes sir, you like that, you like that, huh? You like that? Oh my god, I'm not invincible in this car after all. They're actually shooting me. Three more targets left to run over. To run down in this Liberty City. This Liberty City. As we travel along the way. I have to make a left turn. Oh wow, this sits so much resembles it. Wait, is it is my vehicle the one I'm using right now the only vehicle in this map? Is this the only vehicle on the map? I believe so, because I don't see any more on the compass, so this is the only car. If you lose it, you gotta walk everything. Oh, never mind, I see another car. I hear something. It's like a radio. No, boys. You don't see me. You don't want to see me. I just want to change vehicles. I want to switch vehicles to this one. Tony Ciprioni betrayed his own car. So now, he's driving a better car. I traded it out, boys. You like my new wheels? My new wheels looks awesome, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. My new wheels work so much better. There's one dude that's in there. Actually, there's more than one dude. You can stay there and think over your life choices. Think over your life choices. There's a waypoint there. I'm not interested. Not interested because I got this vehicle and a first aid kit. I bet you that's all I'm going to need to win this mission. All I'm going to need. The fence is missing, but I think the creator may just ran out of room putting the stuff in. So if you fall in the water, is it instant death? Just like the original GTA 3 game. Would you instantly die? Oh, no. No! No! I have swapped my vehicle out for the ultimate. The ultimate. This is the ultimate right here. There's nothing that beats this. Throw anything you want at me. Nothing's gonna beat this. I'm the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep me down. I'm the best around. Nothing will ever keep me down. Yeah, you can't beat me with this. And this match is pretty much done. That's it. I've won. Tony Ciprioni's going back home to his paint and spray. Because that's where he's living now. That's where he lives. GTA 3, Liberty City! It's a city! Yeah! To answer that question of, you get a game over for falling in the water, well... Not really, no. The game continues. The out-of-bounds put you back in. 
The out of bounds triggers before you even get close. There might be a breaking point somewhere, but I can't be bothered to look for it. Jungle Assault. This Jungle Assault was sent to me a few days ago. And this Jungle Assault has the word Assault in it, but it's gonna be a bounty game. That might throw off a few players, but the good players will know that you're going to go in an assault. And they know the definition of assault. So let's go assault things. Furious, aggressive, sniper, noiseless. Well, these are some... Oh, ag aggressive is kind of spelled in... <laughs> it's missing an extra S. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go with... I don't really care what I go with, so I'm going to roll dice. The dice has decided. The fate has decided that I will be noiseless. Oh. Well, I'll go with it. Just go with it. Um, which way should I go? Let's go the other way. Let's turn around and go home. Because I can and will. Never mind, I cannot. Out of bounds is saying, no, you cannot go home. Well, fly men, I won't go home. I will not. I will just keep going. I'll keep going. And I don't, I just realized I have binoculars. Yes. Okay. I thought I didn't have any at the moment. There's one enemy there. One little dude that's sitting there. One little dude. He's all by himself. He was always by himself. He stood out here in the jungle. I just picked up rifle ammo for... Oh. I just found a rifle. I have a rifle. And I got a whole bunch of ammo now. Got a whole bunch of stuff. There's The, the, the stash is now pointless to me. But now I have another weapon. I'm finding all these guns that are in the house. But there still hasn't been any action yet. This is a really slow build. Really slow build up now. Getting a little worried. It's kind of quiet. Okay, let's go across the bridge. I know I'm probably moving away from a bounty target that's hiding out in a house, most likely. But I want to do this anyway, even if I have to come back. What did I just pick up? Another SMG. So now I have two SMGs. I have two SMGs. This one will probably be my primary one, because I like the look of this gun better. What Did I just walk over another gun? I don't know, I didn't see. Oh, I've been spotted. Give me the ammo stash. Okay, now you can keep the ammo stash. Stop shooting me, sir. I'm not, I haven't done anything to you. You know that I haven't done anything to you. Okay, shoot at me. So I can mark you there. Okay, now I've got you marked. See ya! As I walk away in this out-of-bounds zone. And the out-of-bounds lines is just being random. As I climb this mountain, this hill, this massive hill. Ah, damn, okay, I know I can get up you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep, yep. I am scaling the mountaintops. Scaling over everything. That is probably where the real bounty target is. Wherever they are inside there. My instincts are telling me to go inside that building. And that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go inside. I hope I have a parachute. Nope. I made a loud noise when I went splat. So much for being noiseless. Anyway, Noiseless is dead. Sniper's been sent in to do the real job. Hunt. Never send a noisy person to do a sniper man's job. Because this sniper man does everything. Including running through the forest like his brother did. Kind of running through the forest on the... Uh, okay, ammo please. Yes! Sniper man can pick up some ammo too. Sniper man can find floating rocks in the air. Because floating is normal in this certain atmosphere. It's just part of the nature, part of culture, and you can you can also walk through the rocks. Because that's also normal and part of the culture. And you can actually punch the rocks even though they're not supposed to be there because that's normal and part of the culture. Floating rocks, everybody. So I'm ignoring whatever is in there. Whatever is up there in, in this village. I'm ignoring that village. Until I have to come back. Until they make me come back. There might very well be a bounty target inside one of the houses, but I'm not going to bother checking. I'm just going to keep going. We're going to go inside that whatever that... The one with the hanger had. Whatever that hanger was, we're going in there. I just walked over an SMG. I don't need an SMG. Oh, this one does not have binoculars. This one's actually a weaker loadout. Well, right now it is, because everything is still an unknown for me. I just need to figure out who the bounty targets are. That guy, that target is too far away from to me to mark it. Interesting. 
as I pick up one more. Let's see how close I can get to actually mark the dudes. You know what? No, screw that. We'll just go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. I got a bamboo stick. They don't have anything other than a gun to shoot my body dead. But bamboo always wins. If you want to use it against my bamboo, I'd like you to try. My bamboo will smack you. It'll smack you to the other side. Okay, now I'm close enough. I'm close enough. Let's get some marking going on. You are not the target. What about the guys up there? Oh, there is no guy up there. Okay, fine. There's no guy up there. What about inside the building? Well, there's a guy right there. No, they're not the target. They still have no idea that I'm present. Hey, let's cause some mayhem. Ah! You cannot find me ever. You cannot find me. You know I know why? Because you can't swim. And I know you can't swim. I know you cannot swim at all. But I can. I can swim for eternity. Oh, my guy's running out of breath. Never mind, I can swim for about 30 seconds or so. I forget how much lung capacity you have without the upgrade, without that lung capacity perk upgrade. I can swim for a while. Let's go with that. This over here is probably where I have to go. So let's go over here. Let's go in this direction. The sniper's probably on full alert, though. Oh, never mind. The sniper's gonna let me go right on through. Just right on through. And I never got a chance to use my bamboo. I never got to use my bamboo yet. But I am now. I will bamboo you up. I'm gonna bamboo you up. You go ahead and look for me. You try to look for me. You won't find anything. There's an upside down helicopter with an assault rifle on it. Well, now I have an assault rifle, even though this assault rifle is pretty much garbage without its upgrades. It needs the mod upgrades on, or it just does not aim very well. What? No bounty target here at all? No bounty targets to be found? How dare you, sir? How dare you? I am so mad, I am gonna have to shoot. Actually, I'll get you my bamboo like I said I would. My bamboo is coming to get you. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Let's try this again. Get me up here. Hi, I got bamboo for you. Did that feel good? I walked with my bamboo. It probably felt real good. For me, anyway. And now that you're gone, I have a snipes. Can I actually zoom? No, the sniper does not zoom. It is a one-shot kill snipes, though. At least a one-shot kill to most humans. There's like only a handful of humans that could survive this blast. A handful of humans in this game. Jacob's one of them for sure, but I think he'll still go down if you hit him in the head. Aha! I see some people. You're not a target. There is a target. Okay, I stand corrected. There are people that can survive that hit. Hold on. Boom! There we go! One's down. Are you a target? No. Are you a target? There's a guy on my left. Oh, hello. You are not a target. You, are, sir, are an imposter. And imposters get shot. What about this guy? There's like a guy like hiding up there. Aha, there they are. There they are. There they are. Right, get rid of them. Boom. Done. Okay, screw the rest. I'm done. Got the mission one. All I have to do is just go in there, eliminate them, and leave. Ah, you sons of bitches. Let me out of the water. You sons of bitches. You bitches. You let me through. Now I'm gonna run through. Run across the bridge. Across the bridge! I have sniped! I did it better than my noisy brethren! And my noisy brethren will rest in peace. They will rest in peace in this jungle. And I will go home and claim all the spoils. The spoils are mine! They've always belonged to me. Me and my bamboo wood piece. They will always, you know, this guy's over here. He's, he wants to feel my bamboo wood piece. Oh yeah, right in the face. Right in the face. In your face. 
That felt good. I feel like that if I looked around hard enough, I could probably find a soft lock. I could find some place that you would get stuck, and the creator is very lucky that I did not find it during the playthrough, the first impressions. So for now, they're gonna get a pass. They get a like. The map was good. It was very decent. It had a very good theme going for it, too. This will be the last request map of the day. It's called Overrun. It's Overrun, and... That is all I know. I'm gonna be running through. I will be running through the probably a zombie apocalypse. That's my first wild guess. Because what else could be overrun? Gameplay modifiers, friendly fire, no health regen, jump higher. Oh my god, there's a punishment for jumping. US Marine. Okay, I gotta test this. I gotta test this. Ah, uh, dude. Where's the jump higher effect? I thought there was going to be a punishment for jumping. If you jumped, there'd be like instant death. I've played those maps before. People want to eliminate the jump trick, so they set a, ju a jump higher rule where if you jump, you instantly die because you jumped too high. And I did that on purpose just to get rid of the jump trick. Okay. Well, I'm alive. This guy is not. And I'm taking his weapon because I want his gun. Now I have a noisy gun and a silent gun. And I don't know where I'm going. There's dudes right there. I feel like that because this creator's a legend, they know how I work and they know how the game works. That going that way is probably going to be the way of death. So I'm actually going to go this way. Oh, well, I tried. Okay, I'm going to go the other way then. Let's go forward. Let's go the opposite way of where they want us to go. Just to see if I can find any way to get out of this zone. Out of this zone. No, you, don't, you leave me alone. You leave me alone. Oh, there's an invisible wall here. The game is overrun, but I'm not sure by what. And there's no way to actually get by these guys without starting a gunfight. There's no way to get by. Where's my silent weapon? There it is. Okay, I might be able to get both of them quick. I did get him quick. I got him very fast. Oh, no, never mind. No, you don't see me. You guys don't see me. You don't see me at all. Go back to your homes. Go back to your homes. I was waiting behind the corner for you to show up. Who else wants to come around the corner? It's the street corner of Desmol. It's my alleyway. You want some service? Get over here. I'll give you some service. I'll smack you hard. Oh, they didn't want some service. You guys are lame. You guys are lamos. You didn't want any of my service. Well, now I have to give you a punishment. And that punishment involves... Running into the sunlight and baseball sliding over. Whoa. I managed to learn a brand new trick just now on Far Cry 5, and I will explain that later. I will explain that later. So, it doesn't look like getting by these guys is going to be possible because I don't have enough first aid kits to be able to just sponge through. So, the gunfighting has just started. The gunfighting is going to happen. Come on. Take him down. There you go. Who else? I don't see any more people up there. Oh, I see one more person. Okay, let's do this. I'll move in. Getting by these, there's probably a way to boost through, but I just don't have the energy to find it right now. I don't really have the perks to be able to sneak through either. Not good ones anyway. Ah, you almost got me. You almost tried. Keep trying. Oh, and there's an attack dog. I just decided to shoot that blowy up thing. The oil thing. Because it looked cool. Was it cool? I don't know. It was something. Okay, they've lost me. Now I can move in. It's just a matter of the dog that will have to be taken care of. Just the matter of the dog. With everything else, it should be okay. Attack dogs running around in circles. Okay. It all comes down to this moment. Can I get the shot off in one blow? Yes, I can. Boom. Oh, I see the other guy now. I see him. Got him. Should be able to move in now. Should be able to move in. Oh, damn attack dogs. 
The damn attack dogs, they're, they're all out of control. They're like everywhere. Can they come and get me over here? No, they can't. Okay. I see the guys, they're like to the left. I think I'm gonna be forced to fight them. This looks like a forced confrontation because it is. Okay. I got no scopes for any of my weapons, so you have to aim carefully or you're screwed. Stop moving. If you guys would just stop moving for a moment. Got one. Ah, uh, dog, you might want to explain what you're doing for the audience so that they have a clear understanding. They don't think you're crazy or anything. These attack dogs just don't know what they're doing. Well, that guy's definitely dead now. He's got like four or five bullets in him. Oh, I got a headshot that time. I am almost running low. I'm going to have to move in. It's so different not having any of my perks. Because ammo becomes a thing. I'm very tempted to just run in. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. What would I notice those oil barrels? I'm not sure what's wrong with the dogs, but they don't seem to care about anything. So, I'm just gonna pretend that they're not there. And move on, but oh, Invisible walls. I didn't even have to go this way. This was all a waste of time. Well, at least I restocked all my ammo, but you took away some of my health. You took some of my health. How dare you? Again, I think the dogs might be broken. They're gonna walk up to the dogs. Okay, I have this small feeling that the dogs, attack dogs, don't work on control zones. And if if Utops wants to go and test that theory, he can. If anybody else wants to test that theory, they can. But these dogs are out of control. Judges, on the other hand, they will still attack even on a control zone, so I don't know why these guys are acting like they're hostile, yet they're not. I feel like it would have just been better to let the dogs run and run free. Anyway, let's get going. That guy's not attacking either, but I think that was because he couldn't figure out if he wanted to get on the turn. Okay, I thought they, they, they were all broken, but no, they're not. You have an assault rifle. You have a much better ass ass assault weapon. Yoink! And now this is the part where I end up destroying everybody because I have an assault rifle. <laughs> Seriously? Took out one guy and he, and he was going to throw a grenade and he blew himself up in the process? Okay, I'm being way too careless. I've lost so much health now because of my carelessness. I'm gonna run back. I'll run back. Because I want. Oh, I didn't know there's a med kit here. Yes! 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 Med kit! Okay. I'm all good. I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not good at all. I wanna go up on this bus. I imagine there's an invisible wall that's not even gonna let me. Come on! I'll get one on this bus. It's probably an invisible wall. It's not Oh, I managed to get on anyway. Ah, okay. I'm on the bus. What could I do from here? I could jump in there, but I feel like that that's just death. Ah, I better not risk it. Not when I've come this far. I don't want to play this map again. Come on, pop. You had a turret gun and you left it. What kind of soldier are you? Huh? Ah, uh, not a very good one, apparently. Can't even train your own attack dogs correctly. You have all this stuff here, all this junk, and you don't even know how to use it. You had no idea what you're doing. No idea. Oh my god, you got like the epic defense sandbag. The epic sandbag defense. I can't slip through that. My character will get stuck. I've got all this ammo. 
I'm like all fit. Some dude hiding in a bus. Some dude to my left. Got him. I wonder how far this mission goes anyway. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this little zone? What's this? There's guys up there. I imagine I have to go that way, even though the finish line's nowhere in this direction. I'm probably gonna have to go, like, all the way around. Maybe. We'll see. I'm going this way, though. I've gone this way. I've gone this way, and... Whoa, whoa. Dead bodies everywhere. Is this, like, a minefield? You can't have mines in this game, but... There'd be... I guess that'd be the next step in Far Cry, since they all are already involving war and military themes, put in some bo uh, some mines on the ground. Of course, that might be annoying for the player, but, eh. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, you're allies. Wait, I just skipped over part of the map. I just skipped over a portion of the map. <laughs> yes! I broke the map! Or rather, I didn't break the map, I just found an opening of the map! That was kind of boring and uptight. I feel like I didn't have any freedom, but overall it still keeps players on track and they have to do a battle. Uh, the broken dogs need to be fixed, though. I suggest either taking off the control zones or replace them with judges. You might consider the area where I snuck past most of the enemies to be the problem, but really the dogs are the bigger problem of the map. The broken dogs are not a good look. So here's some suggestions on how to fix. You can choose any of these options. Just pick one and roll with it. Out of all of those options, I'd have to say that number one is your most safest bet. To just take off the NPCs that are waiting for the player at the end. If they are there to add to the immersion and you absolutely do not want to get rid of them, you're gonna have to move the finish line somewhere else and put the NPCs over there away from the dogs so that the dogs cannot pick up the NPCs. Uh, if you choose number three, then yes, you're gonna anger part of the community. A quarter of the percentage of the player base on the PS4 of Far Cry 5 is considered, well, let's just say immature. They don't like to lose, and if they die to this ambush, then they're gonna consider it an act of war and give it a dislike. But it is still a liable fix to the dog problem and will work. Whatever you choose is up to you. 